Good morning and welcome to a very, very warm Crossfox Park. I did not realise how hot it was actually going to be when I left the house. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely cold yesterday, so it's going to be a cracker for a park run. I just want to run up here there and yeah, it's hot. <laughs> so yeah, now looking forward to this. Um, to support Leeds tomorrow in the playoff final, I've um, put on a Leeds type top. I want it, um, I want it at a Lakers raffle actually a wee while ago, so um, yeah, opportunity we're that sport leads because they're trying to do today it's not park run it's Farker run after the manager for Leeds. I think it's quite a good pun actually. So um yeah so I think there's gonna be a lot of Leeds United tops out today in support. Right. I just walked up there, I might not look it but um absolutely everybody's wearing a Leeds United top of some kind. So it's good, so um yeah. Hopefully Leeds come up to well hopefully Leeds well you say not come up but win the playoff tomorrow because it'll be good for the city. And uh yeah. And obviously, hopefully, Rangers win the Scottish Cup later on today. Less confident with that, but hey, I think we can do it. I think we'll do it. I'd rather Rangers what? I'd rather Rangers win the Scottish Cup than Leeds. I think. Don't tell anyone I've said that. So yeah, the park is looking absolutely brilliant today. Just like last week, it was the park looked fantastic in the sun, and uh, yeah, we've got it again today. So that's quite good. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a good day, this. Right. Today I'm gonna actually try something on this run as well. So, my Garmin watch, I've had it now since November and I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's got so many great features on it. The Garmin app's great for different training and all the sorts of tracking. Everything's been superb on it. Just one feature that doesn't work, doesn't work at all. And it's this, the race predictor. As you can see, it says my 5k predicted time is 21 minutes, 29 seconds and 10k is 46.26. That is absolute fantasy land. I have never run a time close to that. My fastest ever 5k, or fastest ever park run time was at Cross Flats. It was in 2020, so four years ago, and it was 22.45. And that was after a long time training, trying to try and go for it, and it just everything clicked. One of those days, I've never got near 21 minutes. So, I'm going to try running to that time in the predictor. I'm going to set my time and distance to the 5k and I'm going to use that race predictor time as a thing just to see if it even resets it on my watch or does something because as I said it's an absolute nonsensical time I've never understood why it doesn't work one thing in fairness so the half marathon time is not too far off my actual half marathon the fastest time is like 1 hour 52 something 1 hour 53 so the half marathon time seems right but the 5k and 10k are just way out and I don't understand how because it's using all time from my watch is meant to be using the gar the runs I've completed on Garmin to predict the time so it's not like I've done a time that quick it's not like I've ever shown that sort of pace at any point I think even like the fastest like 100 meters or fastest 1k times they still are like fastest 400 meters times all those sorts of ones even they would never ever translate to 21 and a half minutes so I don't understand it so I'm hoping like I said hopefully if I do it today and you actually actively select it Maybe it'll reset it, but yeah, if anybody knows how Garmin does their, does their, does their race predicting times, let me know, because I don't. I don't know if you can hear or not, but the party tunes have started, so yeah, it's a good, good atmosphere, actually. Everybody's out supporting the same thing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this, and I better get used to this heat as well, because uh, I'm going to be in Madrid for a few days after, well, from tonight. So uh, it's even hotter than this. But I did plan to try and get a run in there, so um, yeah, it's a good warm up. <laughs> Actual warm up. This is basically just a lead celebration, it's no park run anymore. I can't even believe how busy it is, it's been like this since half eight. <laughs> There's so many people here when I arrived as well. It's yeah. I apparently um my run director has put it on the radio that we're doing this Barker run, so uh yeah, every Leeds fan in the area seems to have come out. Well, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be properly good. Right, let's see what it's like trying to run against 21 minutes 29 seconds. I don't know. I I should still get a decent time with it, but we'll see what happens. Right, I'm in the last 500 metres, and the time's a bit of a bust. 
uh, somebody I hate. Look like I'm having a kind of trouble with asthma. We went down to the side, so me and a group of others all stopped, made sure he was okay. And uh, yeah, he's got an inhaler, or he'll get an inhaler. So we find fine, but I couldn't, couldn't keep running on knowing somebody went down. It's not right. So the actual time it still was a bust. I can still judge against that, what I was trying to do today. It'll still be okay. But yeah, I lost a minute or so as a result. It doesn't matter. And we're finished. Final time was 26.33. Like I said, I had that wee delay. Doesn't matter. I'm guessing, I don't see him around, so I'm guessing he's got his inhaler, so he's okay. So I saw the person that went to come back to the finish line coming over the line, so means he'll be alright. Means he'll be alright to figure out the picture. Yeah, no, I just can he. Yeah, you can't just let somebody fall over and just not help, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, the wee group is not doing the right thing. Doesn't matter at the time at the end of the day, there's always next week. Having said that, that camera predictor, I, what a load of nonsense that time is. It was nowhere near it. I think at the point when I stopped, the predicted time was 25.33 or 25.20. It was in the 25s already by that point. Now, I have been running faster than that the last few weeks because I'm following my uh, on Pace Pro. So I didn't have that to guide me or tell me how I was doing for these kilometers. But even still, I should know it's a warm day, a big crowd. 25 minutes on it doesn't seem unreasonable at that point. So how my watch thought I could do 21, 29, I do not know. But uh, I'll see now if that maybe updates. Don't know. In fact, I can only check my watch now. Uh, my, my race predictor's updated. It's updated following that run. That's right, it's reading 21.26 and I have taken this after the run. Can somebody please explain to me how Garmin's race predictor works? Please. That doesn't make sense, I went slower and it's now predicting me to go three seconds faster. Before I know it, it'll be predicting me to do sub 20 times. Um, yeah, don't understand it at all. But, uh, oh well. It's bizarre. It's fair to say though, the park run today has been a massive success. Everybody in the lead shots, really, really good atmosphere about it. Everybody's properly enjoying it. It's been absolutely great. Yeah, really, really well done this. No, it's been good. And I properly enjoyed it as well, so uh, let's see. Well, hopefully, good luck to, well, hopefully Leeds can do it. So uh, good luck to Leeds tomorrow. Massive good luck to Rangers this afternoon, the Scottish Cup final. Hopefully we can get a second trophy of the season. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Get to finish the season, win Scottish Cup, get into the summer. And, uh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. See where, uh, yeah, hopefully next week it'll be a bit faster. But, uh, yeah, it should be good. So, um, yeah, hopefully everybody's enjoyed themselves today. Good running. And, uh, yeah, see what happens next week.